In the Bible, we find that there is holy anger and there is unholy anger. I want to ask you, which do you experience the most? Welcome to Sitam Church Online. This is Reverend Karita Mbagara, the senior pastor at Sitam Karen. I want to illustrate for you what unholy anger is. The story is told of this woman whose husband kept forgetting about her birthday. So one time she told the husband, tomorrow morning I want to find in the driveway, she must have been from an affluent society, something that moves from zero to 200 in a few seconds. The next morning, there was something outside the driveway and it was a package and she went and picked it, opened it, and she found that it was a scale. Well, the husband is going to be buried in a short while. This is a story that I found uh, in the internet and I hope that you get the gist of it. Now, that's unholy anger that caused the wife to go and kill her husband. But holy anger is what we find in the book of Mark chapter 1 in verses 40 to 45. There is a story where a man who had been sick for a long time comes to Jesus and he says to Jesus, if you are willing, you can heal me. And the Bible says that Jesus was angry. Some of us, when we read that passage, we think that Jesus was angry because we interpret that this man was having unbelief. But I think that is not the case. The man just came to Jesus with a traditional wisdom which told him that God may or may not answer his prayer. So when he says that if you're willing, he is not expressing unbelief. Rather, he's expressing God, you are capable and you have the free will and you can heal me or not heal me. If that is the case, then what made Jesus angry? I think Jesus was angry because of the ravages of disease that had afflicted this man. He is angry at the bad thing that had happened to this man. And Jesus went forward, actually, I mean, went ahead to touch this man and heal him. He said, I am willing. So if the man was not sure whether God wanted to heal him or not, he found that God was willing because Jesus said, I am willing, be clean. And the Bible says that the man was immediately healed. Now, I want to say that that's the kind of anger that should come our way or we should allow into our lives. We should get angry at injustice. We should get angry at oppression. We should get angry at sin. When we see young people destroyed or destroying their own lives because of drug addiction or because they are addicted to drinking, when we see broken homes because of men or even women who have taken to the bottle and become irresponsible, we should be angry. But it is not enough to be angry. We must have the compassion that we see in Jesus. Jesus' holy anger led him to take action of touching this man and healing him. And you and I are given that example so that we can be touched by the things that are around us that are wrong and we can stretch out our hands and touch those people that are in trouble because of the ravages of sin and make their lives better. I want you to have eyes that see, ears that hear, and be touched by the things that are wrong in our society or in your community, in your family, and make it something that you will do something about, either by praying about it but not just praying, 
but be moved with compassion. Perhaps it is a need in your communities. A young person who has passed so well but can't go to school and you know he's going to be wasted, but you can help that person touch him by giving the finances that he needs to go to school. In this way, we will be following the example of Jesus. Let compassion well out of your heart and start changing your community right where you are. And as you do that, may God bless you. Let me hear what you think about this. Get in touch with me through the contacts that are at the bottom of this screen. Thank you very much.